This is Andrew Divoff, the Wishmaster. And you are now entering Cinema Chop Shop. Enjoy your day. <laughs> hey, David Wong. Pretty fucking pretty. People have waited in line just to share this experience of Venom, Candyman, Night Living Dead, The Rock, Final Destination. But I want you to know you are now entering the Cinema, Cinema Chop, Chop Shop. Shop. Whip a top top and a pop pop pop. No, pop 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 Cinema Chop Shop. What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you're now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you see a Patreon account. If you click it, you can become a member. All you got to do is try recommend movies and music and trailers for the reactors to click the damn link. Now, with that being said, I'm here today with the Hemi Q Reviews. Go ahead and tell them who you are, where to find you, and all that good stuff. What up, Davey? You know, wavy from the 80s, son. You got Q reviews in the house. You know what I'm saying? I talk horror. I do skits. I do out of the theater reactions. I'm just here on YouTube to have fun. And uh, of course, where my heart is, is, it lies with the horror. It lies with the horror. And we're here to talk, you know what I'm saying? One of the masters, his knowledge is so deep. So like, I'm thrilled to be here. You can just type Q reviews. Find me right there on YouTube, Instagram, uh at cubay 3000 and uh bro it's been a while man and i and i'm i'm, I'm back to, i'm so happy to be back in the house bro <laughs> all right man it's good to have you here and if you're looking for somebody to have in your movie he also has a couple of credited roles you know what i'm saying oh man, yeah my man's a legend in these streets squaring Thank up with you. jason and all that good stuff but he didn't yeah, lose on the rooftop yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no 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 <laughs> nah, my but, head off. <laughs> right but uh but anyway so we go look Q don't know about this news, but I'm going to go ahead and break it to him. So, like I was saying earlier, before we was really interrupted by the universe, <laughs> Blumhouse, <laughs> done, Blumhouse done got their mittens on another horror property. It's a okay. cult classic. I'm going to give you a couple of guesses. Before, I'm going to give you three guesses. Cult classic uh, B movie. Cult classic B movie. And it's, had re and it's had remakes before. Cult classic B movie. Night of the Demons. No. And it's had remakes. No. They already going forward with that. Cold classic B movie. And it has remakes. Hmm, I will tell yeah, you. Yeah, it has Even a remake. Had, it has a remake. Yeah, oh. it has a remake. A mm. 2000s remake. Damn. Why am I stumped? I need, I need a little bit more. Just a little bit. No, maybe I don't. Oh, it, it was in 3D. The remake was in 3D. Valentine? Yeah, my bloody Valentine. <laughs> okay, cool. Apparently, cool, Blumhouse done got their mittens on my bloody Valentine. The oh, 19, man. I think, 81. Cold classic. Mm -hmm. I think it's Canadian, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And then the remake came out, which what to me wasn't that bad. The remake was not as bad as I remember it being. I remember not liking it, but then appreciating it later. Mm -hmm. But... How are we feeling about Blumhouse getting another horror property given their track record, Q? How are we feeling about that? Blum, Blumhouse is, yeah, you know, Blumhouse hit or miss. You know what I'm saying? This is a good property for them if they can handle it the right way and market it. I, I'm just glad it's not Valentine because that movie's atrocious. <laughs> hey, I love that movie. Get out of here, man. That's <laughs> a, I low key love that man with the cherub, man. And my man hit me with the arrow. Hey, look. Oh, with Angel. Hey, and it, hey man, low key, uh, I like bro. Valentine. That's like that's like <laughs> low key one of my little. That's a it's the guilty pleasure of mine. Oh shit, oh, leave the homie alone. He got you broken. Know, I, he got his heart broken on Valentine's Day, man. They didn't want to dance with his ugly ass. Leave him yeah, alone. Yeah, you got the bloody nose and shit. But like, uh, uh, my you know, what I'm saying my bloody Valentine. I think that's a good look. You know, what I'm Harry saying Warner, if they right. Yeah, yeah. If they if they uh, market it right, bringing out around Valentine's Day, I think um, 
they, you know what I'm saying? I think they could be profitable if that movie keep it the budget low. Shit, why not? You know what I'm saying? I'm down with it. Because it hasn't been there in, in years since, like, yeah, that 2001, right? That was like 2000. 2000. Yeah, yeah. 2000 the year, yeah, uh, if not the year 2000 or some shit like that. Yeah, I, I remember that. <laughs> in a time far, far away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, though, I mean, look, we saw that people went to the theaters to watch Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And Thanksgiving is kind of like the same formula. So it's like, mm -hmm. if you stay within the formula, you keep it good, you have a, a cast that people can actually enjoy, I think you good. Like, you don't, you mm -hmm. ain't got to reinvent the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. I do think that we need to see some blood, guts, and ass in order for this to be successful. You got to get, the kills got to be right. You can't shortchange us on the kills, and I don't want to see CGI kills. Oh, I, need no. to see, I need to at least see like at least 80% practical in this bitch. Oh, yeah. I, I'll take CGI enhanced practical, but I will not yeah. take full blown CGI. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. This okay. is not a bad property. This is what people have always been asking for them to do. People have always been asking for them to get movies that are like lesser known and remake them instead of remaking properties that are well known. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's a good look, but. Damn, dude, Blumhouse's track record sucks. Mm -hmm. it is, <laughs> I mean, look, you get Invisible Man, and you're like, damn, they really know what they're doing. And mm -hmm. then you get an exorcist believer, and you're like, I'm not a believer. You know what I'm saying? At all. <laughs> at all, yeah, yeah at man. all. And then they got lucky. Had, they got lucky with Megan because of the marketing, bro. Because of that. The you Megan, know and it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, they're damn. Was Abigail Blumhouse or not? Nah? Was Abigail Blum? No, Abigail was universal. Yeah. Oh. Yep. 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 Okay. Not yeah, but it's crazy. Her. I thought Abigail was going to catch on like Megan, but it didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm actually it, surprised that it didn't, because Abigail, yeah, yeah, was, Abigail was fun. I liked it. Me too. Yeah. I, I like. Yeah. I had a ton of fun with Abigail. Had, you know what I'm saying? I had a ball with that movie. I could definitely see a universe coming out. I just watched it actually. Um. Mm -hmm. But um. Yeah. yeah so. I mean, we I mean, we seem to be in kind of like the same kind of you know the same disposition. We all like uh, it's Blumhouse questionable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> questionable. <laughs> the beyond. Depends who's behind the project. It depends how they approach it, but it definitely could be marketable. Yes, 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 yes. Like you said, if they got the right tits and ass and eighty percent gore, I I agree with that a hundred percent. Though you know what I'm saying, but yeah, like because like what, what Jordan Peele first um project would get out was under Blumhouse, right? Yeah, definitely. That's a, that's a classic now. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying they got to hit and choose the battle, but also Fantasy Island. Is under uh Blum Blumhouse. Exactly. Fantasy <laughs> Island is under Blumhouse. And then also and also Black Christmas is under Blumhouse. Mm -hmm. And that was mm -hmm. a shit fest. I didn't even watch it and I know it sucked. Yep, yep. I watched some of it. Like I was like, nope. But that's I, what yeah, I'm, I'm saying. Out. Like Blumhouse is just like it's I don't know what's wrong with them. They just like they, they have something and then they're like, Yeah, okay. But do we think because who wasn't a merger with what was the merger with Atomic Monster and who else? Is that Atomic Monster? Yeah, it's Atomic Monster, and that's not Blumhouse and, and Atomic Monster, because uh, Atomic Monster is something with J.J. Abrams, right? That's not J.J. Abrams shit, right? Now, who who did they... Atomic Monster and somebody merged together. Who the hell were they? I thought it was Atomic Monster. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, Atomic nice Monster... Who... What? Yeah, Blumhouse Atomic Monster merger, wasn't it? Yeah, but under Blum, yeah, because James Wan, that's Atomic Monster, okay. and then Jason Blum. So under their merger, yeah, because Night Swim was their first, uh, their first oh. major project together. So makes sense. Did you see Night Swim? Yes, and I hated it. Okay, so then see, <laughs> out the gate, see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out the and date. everybody was, everybody really was like, okay, I was like, okay, you got James Wan, you got, you know, Jason Blum. Mm -hmm. Coming together and fucking, <laughs> or like you know, horrible. That's crazy. I didn't, and I haven't seen it. I'm going. Yeah, to, yeah. I plan to see it, but I I know already off the top that it's bad. I'm going to see it with an open mind, even though I know it's going to be terrible. But mm -hmm. the point of the matter that I'm trying to make is that you have these two horror titans coming together, and you're not producing fire off the gate. Off the gate, it should be fire off the gate with a time and monster and Blumhouse. You know what I'm saying? That means exactly. It's like it's a scary yeah. sight. Yeah, it right itself. I don't, I don't know, I, I, I don't know how they're not delivering. They're almost like, like, like Disney at this point and shit. Like, you know, how the hell Indiana Jones fell? You know, I put so much money behind it and it just fell flat on his face. So that's one of the movies that you just was like, look, 
Indiana Jones is not a Top Gun. Like Indiana Jones' story was over, and it was just like you just cranked out another one just to be like, okay, let's let's keep the ball rolling. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. but uh, like with Top Gun, there's more story to tell because there's only one film. You yeah, know, so I agree. I agree. you know, so mm -hmm. I think they kind of shot themselves in the foot, and Disney, the mouse was a little greedy. He was like, oh yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, they love the hat, right? Yeah, we can reinvent it. Like, no, nah, it's yeah. over. It was over yeah. after um 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 Crystal, not, not Crystal Skull, but uh, Last Crusade. To me, I thought that was that. that this story is pretty done. Yeah, and exactly. They they, uh, they try to bring it back, but we didn't even talk about. They ain't coming out with it. They trying to come out. Well, they they gaining old properties and reproducing them, and they are they coming up with original content too? I guess Nice One was based on a. A it's a horror and, short. It's, it's, yeah, it's a horror nice short. one was based off of a horror short, and I'm starting to see a lot of that, which I'm not. I'm not mad at. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because like, um, the the stylus was a short. Piggy was a short. Um, ah, there's another one out there somewhere. I, I believe Lights Out originally was a short. You know, mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not mad at them using shorts and creating full length films. It's just that some shorts don't need to be full length films unless you know what mm -hmm. you're really doing. Example: mm -hmm. The Jester. If you've seen the Jester YouTube mm -hmm. shorts, fantastic. It really feels like trick or treat. They made a mm -hmm. full length movie out of it and they ruined it. And I'm just like, dude, you should just mm -hmm. left it the way it was. But mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and segue into the next topic. But I'm going to exit out of this one so I can just cut it evenly. <laughs> but Ooh. you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Show. Let us know if you agree or disagree with anything that we said. Don't forget to subscribe to this man's channel right here True and hit news. the subscribe button on the way out. And don't forget his. Link, I'm a linking in below, so just click the damn link, go to his channel, show, <laughs> show Q some damn love, you know what I mean? Until next time, adios. I want to play a game, subscribe now, the choice is yours. You're now exiting the cinema church. <laughs>